The house is sold. The pod is loaded. But wait, there's still more. I really don't know how we fit it all in, but we did. And now it's gone. The truck and camper are loaded. So I guess it's time to hit the road. But first, let's talk about moving. Picture everything in your house. Imagine taking two thirds of everything you own and getting rid of it. Now take that remaining one third and pack it into a cargo container that's 16 feet by 8 feet by 8 foot tall. It really makes you evaluate if you own these objects or if these objects own you. Now take everything you think you'll need for living on the road for three months and pack that into a camper trailer. What would you take that you couldn't live without for three months? Well, meet my new guitar. It's a small body, half acoustic, half electric, Guild 2655 in Fairlane Blue. If you lived in the 60s or 70s, you recognize this color. It's just like my dad's 1963 Ford station wagon. But anyway, I didn't want to bring a guitar that I had to worry about getting damaged. I have no sentimental attachments to this guitar, it's just a nice, cheap guitar. It's taken six months of preparation getting ready for this move. The general plan is to drive, camp, and tour our way across southern USA, spending the longest time at the great national parks of Utah. So, let me tell you about our trip so far. The first night, we stayed in Cascade Locks, Oregon, at a KOA RV park located two hours from home, which is about one hour from Portland. We didn't want to be too far away in case there was a problem with the house closing and we had to go back. Cascade Locks is known for the Bridge of the Gods. Yes, that's the real name. It's a bridge that connects Cascade, Oregon with Skamania, Washington. And yes, Skamania, Washington is a real name also. So our first two nights were in a lovely little KOA RV park. Lovely, except for the trains that ran in back of the park all night long, every hour, blowing their horns. Amazingly, Cheryl didn't hear them the first night. That gives you an idea of how stressful all the preparation was, if she could sleep through multiple trains. Next, we're on our way to Caldwell RV Park in Caldwell, Idaho just north of Boise, Idaho, for a one-night stay. With several gas stops and a lunch stop along the way, it took about six and a half hours to get there. We didn't even unhook the camper so we could easily leave at first light. But this park provided some interesting experiences with the local peacock. It seems they leave something that looked like dog food on the ground right by our camper space. I almost had him eating out of my hand, but we clucked at each other for a while, and he stayed for a couple of hours. It was fun. Well, that's enough for now. Stop back for our next installment when we invade Utah. I'll have some great stuff to show you. Thanks for taking the time to watch.